हेलो एवरीवन आई एम श्री चरण फ्रॉम बी एस सिद्धार्थ कॉलेज स्टडिंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फाइनली आई एम हेयर टू टेल यू अबाउट लिक्विफिकेशन पोटेंशियल इंडेक्स हाउ इट इज कैलकुलेटेड एंड हाउ इट इज डिटरमाइन सो लेट अस सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लिक्विफिकेशन सो व्हाट इज लिक्विफिकेशन सॉइल लिक्विफिकेशन इज अ फिनोमिना वेर बाय अ सैचुरेटेड और पार्शियली सैचुरेटेड सॉइल सब्सटेंशियली लूजेज स्ट्रेंथ एंड स्टिफनेस इन रेस्पॉन्स टू अपलेट स्ट्रेस यूजअल एथक्विक शेकिंग और अदर सडन चेंज इन स्ट्रेस कंडीशन कॉजिंग इट टू बिहेव लाइक ए लिक्विड so it is nothing but uh, losing of soil strength is known as liquefaction so due to some of the applied stresses so uh, uh, so it leads to the ground shaking so obviously it leads to the earthquake disaster so so that's why we will determine the liquefaction potential index so the so we need some of the elements in this so which are uh, i will show you what are they so what we need for the liquefaction potential index calculation so the first thing is cyclic shear stress ratio so cyclic st shear stress ratio is nothing but the seismic demand of soil so here is a formula so based based upon this formula we calculate the cyclic shear stress ratio so for this we need the peak ground acceleration and acceleration due to gravity so it gives the zone factor so uh, second one is cyclic shear resistance ratio so cyclic shear resistance ratio is nothing but uh, how much uh, soil is resistant for the apply application of float so here we have the formula so crr it will it will determine as crr uh, so based upon this two we will get the factor of safety so factor of safety is nothing but crr by css whereas css is uh, entirely determined by css by msf msf is nothing but magnitude scaling factor so for this we need the how much magnitude does an earthquake is coming so based upon all this we will get the uh, factor of safety so after the factor of safety calculation uh, here is the liquefaction potential index formula so here here we can see the liquefaction potential index formula f is nothing but the factor of safety uh, z is a z is a depth of the soil layer uh, and dz is nothing but the differential increment of the depth so based upon this we will calculate the liquefaction potential index so here we can see these are the two large formulas so that's why we have updated an excel sheet for this software so i will show you that also oh so here is it here is a peak ground acceleration it's nothing but mx by g or oh, it is 0.6 and uh, zone 3 we have selected the vijayawada so it vijayawada comes under the zone 3 a uh, magnitude of the earthquake or uh, it's 7 so we have taken the four magnitudes which is 4 5 6 and 7 mm, so here is the depth 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 uh, and spt value or uh, standard penetration test values on saturated density saturated uh, sub sorry submerged density and here the fines vertical pressure total overburden pressure effective overburden pressure or uh, total total effect over button pressure correction of over button effect hammer effect bore hole effect rod length sampler corrected spt so uh, after the determination of spt value we have the corrected spt value based upon uh, dilatancy correction and uh, over button correction uh, alpha beta corrected spt for clean sand and the stress uh, reduced uh, coefficient and cyclic shear stress ratio of which is css and cyclic uh, resistance ratio crr and magnitude scaling factor msf and here you can see that uh, it's constant for all uh, factor of safety of of us or it comes from cyclic shear stress ratio and cyclic resistance ratio and here we concluded that l nl so it is nothing but l is liquefi liquefiable nl is non liquefiable so i'll show you how it is determined so let us take a soil report uh, i will take a soil report for, uh, which is uh, patamata located in vijayawada so uh, i will show you how it taken so i have taken the uh, software updated excel sheet and here i have the soil report so first i will I have to enter the uh, saturated density 0 to 1 in 0 to 1 we, have, we don't have any one anything uh, 1 to 2 we have 6 2 to 3 we have 8 3 to 4 9 4 to 5, 10, 5 to 6, 12, 6 to 7, 12, 7 to 8, 16, 8 to 9, 16. Oh, sorry, I have entered wrong. 14, 16, and 
and nine to ten it is seventy. Or uh, no, saturated density, you have to take the tri unit weight. Oh, for zero to one, it's it's not mentioned. So one to two, it is fifteen point seven. Two to three, it's sixteen point two. Three to four, sixteen point four. Sixteen point five. Eight, sixteen point nine, seventeen point one, seventeen point one, and seventeen point five. So here are the tri unit weight values, and we need some fine values. So we have in the solid report we will get the fine values. Oh. Uh, so from the excel sheet we can get for the fine values we need to enter silt and clay values its percentage or oh, for zero to one we have nothing 99 99 98 98 have contribution here forty six we have seventy six ninety eight Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, and ninety-nine. So I have taken the all values. So for this we have nothing. So so we'll. We'll put all iPhones. So for the magnitude seven, for non-liquefiable it's zero. So here is the liquefaction potential index. So it is determined and it is calculated. With the software, so it's 5.1, and uh, it is high. So severity is also classified here. So that's like we can take different magnitudes. So we, let us see for six, and for six, so uh, it is uh, zero. So for non-liquefiable, it comes out uh, zero to all. So for uh, Magnitude six, so the liquefaction potential index is uh, zero, and let us see for uh, magnitude five. Obviously, it comes to zero. So, so like this, uh, we'll calculate for different magnitudes four, five, six, and seven. So we'll get the the classification also comes here only the severity. So, like this, we have ten thousand locations of. Four magnitudes in Vijayawada region itself. These are thousand locations. You can see in the screen. And uh, severity uh, for magnitude four, five, six, and seven. So and we have classified the severity for zero. It is very low. For zero to five, it's low. It's five to fifteen high, and greater than fifteen very high. So which means uh, if it comes zero, the liquefaction is very low. Five, it's low. And five to fifteen, the liquefaction severity is high in that particular location. And if it is greater, the value is greater than fifteen, it's very high. As you see here, uh, let us take the Mokkalrajpuram. It comes uh, zero, so the liquefaction is very low. So uh, it's nothing but uh, the epic uh, provision is very low in that location. Oh, so like this, we can determine the liquefaction potential index. So the next part is. Uh, uh, Preliminary mapping uh, that is uh, done on QGIS.